everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we're talking about science! Yay! So, we're filming this on a Wednesday morning and there's snow on the ground and there's snow flurries falling, but theoretically it is spring and spring means bugs! Bugs are super cool. They're also super important to our ecosystem. They help break down all sorts of trash like animal droppings and leaves and compost and all sorts of other cool things, decomposing bodies. Um, but they also are an important food source for birds, reptiles, amphibians, mammals, basically anything that's bigger than them. And so we should be extra super nice to bugs and they're also very cool to study. So today's science activity is we are going to make some cheap and easy bug hotels out of material that you have around the house. It's also a fun way to celebrate Earth Day. So I'm going to show you the slightly more um, involved bug hotel first and then I'll show you the slightly easier one. So I took a milk jug and a cardboard box. If any of you have been ordering things off of Amazon or if you have family members who have been ordering things off of Amazon, I imagine you might have some boxes lying around. Um, you or an adult in your life, you cut the lid, or not the lid, the top part of your milk jug off your milk jug. I left the handle because it's always nice to have something to carry it around with. And then you take your box and you want to cut it so that you can roll the box up so that you can fit it inside your milk jug. So how I did that was I cut it along one of these creases here and then I cut off the flaps and then I trimmed it down to size. I, this is the part that I trimmed off of the box. And then I rolled everything up. If I deconstruct what I have rolled up, you'll see what I mean. It's harder to get it out than it is to get it in. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. That's the box all rolled up, stuck in there. And these are all of the flaps that I cut off. And you shove those in there too. The idea is that you're making a nice dry hidey hole for any bugs who might want to visit your outdoor space. This works especially well if you have access to some kind of garden or even just a little patio. That works too. Once you have all of your cardboard bits in there, and they open up a bit once you have them all shoved in, they fit pretty snug. And that's when you can have a lot of fun. You gather up dry sticks, dry leaves, pine cones, bits of bark, hay, straw, um, little stones even, and you stick them in the little nooks and crannies inside your bug hotel to make even more hiding spots for any bugs who might want to visit it. Now this is important. You don't want to hurt any trees when you're making your bug hotel. So make sure that you're doing this on a day where it's nice and dry and you want to pick up everything off of the ground. So you're not plucking leaves and sticks off of living trees or bushes. You're picking them up off of the ground and, um, and then you're shoving them in there to fill in all of your nooks and crannies and it fits pretty well. And then when you're all done, you can either tie it up to hang from a tree, kind of close to the ground, but not so close that it'll drown, or you can like 
prop it up on a couple of rocks or a couple of bricks a little ways off of the ground so again the water doesn't flood in this makes a nice little porch area to keep it dry I would recommend putting it in the shade because it gets pretty hot if you leave it out in the sun and a lot of bugs don't like that. So find a nice shady spot, prop it up on some rocks and go outside from time to time and see who you can see buzzing in and around your cool little bug hotel. The other way that you can make a cool bug hotel is you can take a clear container or whatever recyclable you have on hand. I just happen to have a really big pretzel container and you can take cardboard tubes and shove them in there. I did have to trim a couple inches off of the top of my paper towel rolls and you shove them in there. And again, you then fill all of your nooks and crannies with the sticks, the twigs, the pine needles, the dry leaves, the bark, the pine cones, straw, hay, whatever you've got lying around little bits of mulch if you have mulch to spare don't tick off any gardeners and um, this one I made so that I could hang from a tree somewhere what's cool about using a clear container is that you can see into it so you might be able to see the bugs even more clearly this one should definitely hang in the shade though because it would you don't want to fry your bugs in the sun so there you go two quick and easy ways to make super cool bug hotels and then once you have your bug hotels obviously you want to see who's visiting them and that's where the library comes into play we have lots of books about bugs up to and including insect guides this one's kind of official and adult looking but we have lots of different kinds of insect guides here in the children's department and also all throughout the library we also have other kinds of wildlife guides too. If this isn't so much your thing, but you'd still like to learn more about the world around you. We also have a lot of wildflower guides and tree identification guides. If you want to learn more about the plants that you're seeing growing outside when it's not snowing, we even have bird guides, animal track guides. We have all sorts of really cool things up here in the children's department, but also in the adult department too, if you feel like you're ready to level up. So come to visit us at the library, get your guides, post pictures of your finished bug hotels, or if you see any particularly cool bugs, feel free to take some pictures and send them in. And I hope to see you soon. Just remember, if you come to visit us in the library, we are requiring people to wear masks that cover their noses and mouths at all time in the library. Thanks guys, have a nice day, bye.